A killer plot twist can be the cherry on top of a good movie, elevating it to greatness and ensuring that you immediately want to rewatch it from the beginning in order to observe it through an entirely new context. But every so often, filmmakers might decide to cast convention aside and blindside viewers with a plot twist early on, right at the beginning in fact. It's a bold, risky move given that general audiences enjoy the conventions of formulaic storytelling, but when it works, it really works. And so, with that being said, I'm Jem from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 more movies that cleverly start with huge twists. Number 10. Scream 6 Scream 6, for all of its third act misgivings, totally detonated fan expectations in its opening 10 minutes by doing the one thing nobody ever expected unmasking one of its ghost face killers right away. Rather than merely opening with a grisly kill scene per the series formula, the murderer of film teacher Laura Crane is immediately followed by Ghostface removing their mask, revealing them to be one of Crane's young students, Jason, played by Tony Rivolori. Just six minutes in, we have a ghost face identity confirmed, and to twist the knife further, it's then confirmed that he's a college friend of Tara's, played by Jenna Ortega. And there's one final twist to come before the titles. Jason returns to his apartment only to discover that his fellow Ghostface copycat Greg has been murdered, at which point one of the movie's real Ghostface killers promptly emerges and kills him. Even though Jason's stint in the film was short-lived, this scene nevertheless saw the franchise finally toy around with its well-trodden to formula, and do so without getting excessively cutesy and meta about it. I'm looking at you, Scream 4. Number 9 fresh. Though the trailers for the unhinged horror film Fresh made it clear that Sebastian Stan's hunky protagonist Steve is actually something untoward, the marketing was sensibly restrained in refusing to reveal precisely how depraved the guy really is. An opening meet cute between Steve and protagonist Noah, played by Daisy Edgar-Jones, leads to a whirlwind love affair, but after Noah agrees to a weekend away with him, he drugs her cocktail. When Noah awakens, she's chained up and Steve not only calmly explains that he drugged her, but that he's going to surgically remove pieces of her body over time in order to sell them to his wealthy cannibalistic clients. Yup. Needless to say, the marketing and the movie itself led viewers to assume that Steve was only going to abduct Noah and keep her prisoner for his own sadistic pleasure. But the cannibalistic twist makes the whole setup so much more deranged. Number 6. Mission Impossible Given that Mission Impossible as a franchise is so thoroughly concerned with Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, and his team, the original movie executed the series' very best twist in the first 20 minutes. The film begins with the IMF squad heading to Prague for their next mission, and though conventional cinematic storytelling would suggest that this sequence would introduce us to Hunt's core team and establish what each of them does, that's basically the opposite opposite of what happens. As it turns out, the mission is a horrific bust, with most members of the team being killed off. Taking the team off the chessboard, and especially fan favourite character Phelps, was one hell of a bold, ballsy move. But not content to pull off just one daring subversion, it's later revealed that Phelps actually faked his death and is the movie's primary villain, a revelation which certainly divided fans of the 1960s TV series. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and whilst you're there, drop us a like, share, and subscribe too. Number 7. Aliens Ridley Scott's original Alien ends with the Nostromo's sole human survivor Ellen Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver, entering stasis in an escape pod with the ship's cat, Jones, for the trip back to Earth. If this led many to assume that James Cameron's sequel, Aliens, would likely pick up on Earth, that's not quite what happens. Aliens instead opens with Ripley being rescued in space by a salvage crew, at which point both she and the audience are informed that she's been stuck in hypersleep considerably longer than expected. As it turns out, Ripley spent 57 years drifting through the core systems before the crew stumbled upon her. And because that's not enough of a shock to her, she's then informed that her young daughter Amanda died two years prior, age 66. It's a brutal, immediately compelling start to the movie, and though the news of her daughter's death was bafflingly cut from Alien's theatrical release, it's so joltingly vital in informing her character arc throughout, namely her maternal bond with the young survivor Newt, played by Carrie Henn. Number 6. The Lodge 
The Lodge is an extremely unnerving psychological horror film about a soon-to-be stepmother Grace, played by Riley Keough, who becomes stranded at her fiancé Richard's, played by Richard Armitage, rural lodge with his two resentful children over Christmas. The movie's trailers only briefly allude to the kid's mother, who is implied to be out of the picture for one reason or another. And so, the film begins by introducing us to said mother, Laura, played by Alicia Silverstone as she meets with Richard, who informs her that he wants to finalise their divorce so he can marry Grace. A visibly upset Laura leaves, heads home, pours herself a glass of wine, and then shoots herself in the head. Given that Silverstone's character was paid barely any mind in the Lodge's marketing at all, to see her show up for a small cameo and exit the film in such uncompromisingly brutal fashion was a major shock, especially given that it's the polar opposite of the frothier roles that Silverstone usually takes. Number 5. The Fast and the Furious If you watched the original The Fast and the Furious without knowing too much about it, you'd probably take its opening scene at face value. The Brian O'Connor, played by Paul Walker, is simply a hot-headed boy racer who crosses paths with Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel's crew, and is sweet on Dom's sister Mia, played by Jordana Brewster. But at the end of the first act, Brian is pulled over by the cops, and after he's driven to the nearby police station, it's revealed that Brian is in fact an undercover cop, attempting to infiltrate Dom's heist crew. Somewhat ironically, for any viewers who joined the Fast franchise later on, there's a good chance they might have forgotten about Brian being a former cop altogether, if they even knew at all. And so, going back to watch the original movie for the first time, even if you've seen some of the more recent sequels, this twist can actually still work. Number 4. Confessions 2010's Japanese thriller Confessions revolves around a grieving mother and high school teacher Yuko, played by Takako Matsu, who carries out a dastardly scheme to avenge her young daughter's drowning death at the hands of two of her students. If this might sound like a typical slow burn revenge thriller plot, Confessions wastes no time at all in hurling an absolutely loony twist at viewers. The film's gut-wrenching opening sees Yuko reveal all this information to her class, before announcing that she injected the two culprits' milk cartons with the HIV-infected blood of her daughter's father, causing mass panic in the class, as the two boys responsible fear that they will contract HIV as a result. Now, of course, the chances of getting HIV from drinking milk tainted with infected blood are very slim, but kids being kids, they certainly don't know that. And it immediately assures audiences that this isn't going to be your garden variety revenge thriller, one which remains thoroughly demented all the way to the end, in fact. Number 3. Saw X You can argue that Saw X's real twist was that it was actually a good movie, but it also offered up a few neat subversions of the series' expected formula, such as placing its most intriguing reveal not at the end, but the beginning. More to the point, the twist was inflicted on John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, played by Tobin Bell himself, rather than him being the one to administer some not-so-welcome news upon one of his hapless victims. Saw X is a prequel set between the first two Saw films where a cancer-riddled Kramer learns of an experimental treatment spearheaded by Dr. Celia Pedersen and agrees to undergo the procedure in Mexico. Though surgery apparently goes well, the movie's big early reveal is that John has been scammed. The entire clinic was a front created by Pedersen to swindle desperate, terminally ill people out of their money. The moment that John realises what's happened is punctuated with all the hallmarks of a classic Saw twist, a flashback montage illustrating pivotal moments within their shocking new context, and a musical cue nodding to Charlie Klaus's iconic Hello Zep theme. Number 2. The Hunt 2020's controversial satirical action horror flick The Hunt was marketed on, said controversy aside, the strength of its ensemble cast. The likes of Emma Roberts, Justin Hartley, Mike Barinholtz, and Betty Gilpin were featured extensively in the trailers as a group of working-class deplorables who have been kidnapped by wealthy elites and are now hunted for sport. The movie itself begins with the deplorables all waking up gagged in a forest, and while audiences quite reasonably assume that the more famous faces among the cast will be sticking around for a while, that's not quite what happens. The first to go is Roberts, who gets shot through the head by a 
sniper rifle. While about a minute later, Hartley's character steps on a landmine and is blown to smithereens. Five minutes after this, funny man Baron Holtz gets shotgunned to death by the owner of a nearby service station, leaving Betty Gilpin's crystal as basically the only lead actor still standing, in turn confirming her to be the de facto protagonist. Given that Emma Roberts is probably the most of no actor playing any of the deplorables, Seeing her in particular get her brain matter splattered barely 10 minutes into the movie was a major shock. And number one, Irreversible. Gaspar Noé's highly controversial thriller Irreversible is a unique case of this because the audience doesn't actually realize it's a plot twist until later in the movie, and even then it's easily missed. The film, which plays scenes in reverse chronological order, ends with the climax in which Pierre, played by Albert Dupontel, beats a man to death with a fire extinguisher. We learn later that this was in revenge for said man allegedly assaulting an almost fatal beating his ex-partner Alex. Yet, during the scene of Alex's attack itself, it's clear that the assailant wasn't this man. Basically, Pierre and Alex's current partner Marcus, played by Vincent Castle, got the wrong guy, but it gets even worse than that. Anyone with the stomach to ever revisit Irreversible might notice that during the opening scene where the mistaken perpetrator is killed, the actual attacker is standing literally feet away from him. Though it's easy to miss this given the visually disorientating nature of the film's brutal opening scene, ultimately, the real villain is never called or brought to justice.